A report has surfaced regarding the Booster Gold movie in development over at Warner Brothers and DC Films. Last September, Collider reported that DC TV super producer Greg Berlanti was rumored to be an ex executive producer and possibly even a director on the movie. Now, thanks to an interview with THR, Berlanti confirmed he is directing the movie with Zack Snyder writing. Zack, Zack Stent, sorry, not Zack Snyder, it's Zack Stent. Everybody, relax. Zack Stent's <laughs> writing, everybody. Zack Stent's credits include Thor, the new Power Rangers. Rangers and Agent Cody Banks. Christian, buy or sell the Booster Gold movie? Buy it because it's different. Um, I don't know what it is. I, I mean, and you got you can scream and yell at me that I'm ignorant. I'm sorry, I don't know everything in regards to the all I, I guess comic book world or whatever. It's just based off comic, mm -hmm. yes. I don't know enough about it. So um, I w I always encourage and like to see more uh, if they can make superheroes that were, that the public is not familiar with and you can get some directors and writers in there to, get, uh, to really bring that out to the to public. I mean, because look at something like Deadpool, which obviously more known than maybe this character is too, but no one thought that it would be the most profitable one of the most profitable s superhero movies of all time. I think it topped every X-Men movie financially too. And mm -hmm. it's because it was done well. It was done with passion. It was done by people who really were familiar with the material and, and gave you the, it gave you, they gave you the movie that they wanted to see as fans. So if this happens the same way here and I learn more about it, then yeah, I buy it. Jeff. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I mean, sell. No. Okay. The answer is sell. Right. Um, I, I am not familiar with Booster Gold. Um, and don't think that I'm not a comics fan. I can name 10 comics that I wish would be adapted for film right now. And I've tr been trying to read more to get on the level with everybody. But yeah, Booster Gold does nothing for me, and particularly in the hands of Greg Berlanti. I don't watch his his TV superhero shows. They look a little cheesy to me. I know they certainly have their fans. He doesn't have a great track record in features, so it's a sell. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'll buy it. I'll definitely buy it. I did a little reading on this character as well before I came in, and it sounds like a really great fit for the Berlanti style that mm. we have seen on TV. Um, and and I'm open to that. Like, you know, I feel like he, as showrunner of these shows, or overseeing these three, you know, Flash, Arrow, and Supergirl, he's he's handling he's handling the severity and the universe but the light and the fun so well and i've been honestly wondering when he was going to make that leap into the dc cinematic universe uh however you know previously like for instance when Zack snyder was asked about why grant gustin wasn't even considered to play the flash he kind of gave a well, I don't know, I wasn't there when he said it, but what I read was a bit of a curt answer, kind of saying, well, he wouldn't really fit into our world. Our mm. world is a little, you know, basically implying the grit, the dark, whatever. The idea that Berlanti could possibly be directing a superhero, a DC character for this universe, I think has huge implications mm. for the future of these franchises and this shared universe. So I think there's a lot going on here. And and by the way, this character is also known to be one of the light, more lighter and more fun characters. Is he like Nathan Fillion or something maybe? Or is he too He might be a little, a little old. Too old. Uh, I don't know though. I mean, you know, what are you I, I, No, no, no. Because every for every anytime there's an, a comic book character casting, someone says, well, "Why not Nathan Fillion?" Like, I, yeah. there's a reason Nathan Fillion isn't playing superheroes in movies. He's a TV star. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Sorry. That's right. no, that's fair. But uh, I like Zach Stentz. I will say that much. Okay. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.